Hi guys, so for coding and creating our first simple Angular application, we'll be needing these two softwares at least. The first is a Visual Studio Code and the second one is the Node.js. The links to download both of these open source softwares are given in the description section below. Now I'll tell you about each of these softwares. The first is a Visual Studio Code. Basically, a Visual Studio Code is a lightweight but a powerful source code editor which is developed by Microsoft. And it is available for all the three operating systems that is Windows, Mac OS and Linux. It comes basically with built-in support for JavaScript and TypeScript and Node.js too. So basically, you can code, compile and execute your TypeScript code in this editor. You can debug your code too and I'll show you how to debug your code in the later section. Now uh, about Node.js, basically first I'll tell you what Node.js not is. Node.js is not a framework. Secondly, Node.js is not a programming language. Most of the people are confused and understands that it is a framework or a programming language, but it is not. Rather, a Node.js is an open source runtime environment for executing your JavaScript or TypeScript code. That's all about the hard languages. Now let me explain it to you in the layman terms. Basically a Node.js interprets your TypeScript or JavaScript code, converts it into the browser understandable languages and renders that the output of that particular code on the browser. That's not all what Node.js does for you. It's, it's more to it. It's, it's also waits for you to change something in the file or the code. And as soon as you change something in the file, it reinterprets the code and re-renders your result to the browser. So basically, uh, what we have discussed in the previous videos, TypeScript compiles back to clean and simple JavaScript, which runs on any browser or Node.js. So therefore, you can happily run your TypeScript into the Node.js runtime environment, which interprets and show your results on the browsers. If you still have problem in understanding the Node.js because I understand it is a bit complicated thing to understand, please let me know in the comment section. So after installing Node.js, we should know some important Node.js commands. The first the, and the foremost very important command is to install Angular CLI with the command npm install minus is for global at the rate angular slash CLI. This command is used to install Angular CLI and th uh, this particular command on running will actually create some node modules for you. Node modules were, are nothing else but basically some JavaScript libraries provided by Node.js for you so, which can help you in coding. An Angular CLI is a command line tool that you use to develop, run and maintain your Angular applications. But before you run this command, you must you must make sure that you have at least Node.js 6.9 version or higher and NPM 3.0.0 or the higher installed on your system. With this command, you will be able to create the node modules required for running your application. The second command is an ng new command with the, uh, with the third argument as your project name. This particular command will actually makes it easy to create an application that already works and also follows the best practices. That means that when you do ng new your project name, it will create a folder with automatically all the inbuilt files which are necessary for running your Angular application. We'll see this uh, in, an, in, in a slide next. The third important command is ng-generate. The ng-generate is actually a command to generate routes, services and pipes with this particular simple command. The CLI also creates the spac.ts file which is actually a test file for your uh, code you have written. The fourth command is ng-serve which is used to test your application locally while you are developing it. That's all about the basic commands you will be needing. So now let's get started and implement these commands to create our very first Angular application.